Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the channel. Today, I'm going to go through Diarrhea and I'm going to go through Day 1. They're both fantastic apps. I'm going to show you why you should be using them and which one you should be using. So, without further ado, let's climb straight in. So, the Diarrhea app on the mobile device actually is pretty cool. If you go to the menu on the top left hand side, you have the option to view calendar, timeline, map, and that's pretty cool. If you go ahead with timeline, you can actually just see like each day as it goes. And the calendar view is quite nice because then you can sort of see a month ahead or a couple months ahead. So you can see quite a bit more. The map as well is a pretty cool feature. I like the map because if you are on the go, if you're um, up and down, then you can sort of use that as well as a, as a cool feature. If you go into attachments, this is also pretty cool. You can actually just upload straight from here. So you'll have all of your attachments here if you need to reuse any one of the entries that you add. So if you're going in and adding an entry, let's just do so on the calendar. You can add a single entry over here. You can also, if you use this one, you can jump to a specific day and it is cloud based. So if you're using it on multiple devices, it's actually pretty awesome. So here you can add something in here. So let's do one here. And of course, you can add photos, tags, ratings, audios. You can even add uh, documents and as well as that location. So that's that's pretty cool. I like it quite a bit. Uh, one of the other things I fancy here is if you go into settings, there's quite a few options, but you can actually go down to templates and there's a couple templates that you can actually use here, which is pretty cool as well. You can also change a lot of the look and feel of the app. So the font size, color, the theme and that sort of thing. So I think that's pretty awesome. The only one downfall that I kind of see here, I just want to jump over to my computer. If you go into the Microsoft store to download the app, it actually does cost around about $20. There's another option here. Um, if you go into Gumroad and that is, it's about $20. So if you're using it on your mobile device, it is free and it's limited, but if you are wanting to upgrade, then you'll have to make a purchase. So let's jump into day one. So day one is pretty cool as well. You've got the mobile app. You can also get it on your computer. As you can see here, you've got the app that you can download. And, you know, if you're jumping into some of their features, you can see that it's, as they say, simple to use. And it's got a lot of sort of customization tools over here. Okay, they obviously very big on security as well, which is always a great thing. And yeah, there's tons of customization tools here. If we go into the actual app itself, this is what it looks like. And it's nice and neat and clean, and especially when you want to organize in life. You need to have like a nice, clean user interface. So on the left, you can add new journals. So you can see here, there's quite a few things that you can do here within that journal. And on your left hand side, if you go into settings, you can actually also change quite a bit of the appearance, such as the theme. There are quite a few other features, such as daily prompts you can add in there. There are some advanced settings. You can change the way your entries look and feel as well. So this is pretty cool. And there are also some templates. So if you go into insert template, I think they have a few more templates than what Diarrhea has. So you can see here, like there's quite a lot to do. And all of these templates do, of course, uh, give you the opportunity to customize them completely. So you can literally just use the outline and you can just add in all of your details. Again, there is, of course, the paid version. So as you can see here, it's $34.99 per year. You get your first month free. That's fantastic. You can try it out and see if it's going to work for you. However, $34.99, so it is a paid subscription as well. So having a look at these two apps, I mean, really, they are much the same in terms of user friendliness and their features. However, I do like templates. So for me, day one kind of just looks and feels a little bit more friendly and a little bit more approachable in actually its user friendliness. What do you folks think? Let us know in the comment section below, and we will see you in another awesome video. Peace out.